Hi all, let's talk about how to read the data from flat file and split the data in SSIS. The answer is you can read the data from flat file in SSIS with the help of the flat file source and you can split the data in SSIS with the help of the conditional split transformation. So now I will show you practically how to read and how to split with the help of the flat file source and conditional split in SSIS. Let's go to the SQL Server data tools. So let's uh, uh, drag and drop the uh, data flow task. So double click on the data flow task. So let's take a flat file source. First let's configure a flat file source. So browse the file. And my file is source.txt. Let me show you the data. So I have ID, name, location and gender. Okay. So now I am planning to split the data based on the gender. Okay. So there are two genders are there here. So males and females. So at the output I am planning to get males data separately and Females data separately. I am planning to separate female employees and male employees with the help of the SSIS. So I am done, almost done with the flat file source configuration. Let's click on OK. So this is how we read the data from the flat file in SSIS. Now let me apply a conditional split. Let's connect this. Double click on it. So on what basis I am planning to split? I am planning to split based on the gender. So let me write the condition gender equal to male. Yeah. So if the expression is wrong, it automatically converts into a red color. Let's correct the expression. Let's put the double equal to. Okay. If the expression is correct, if the expression is syntactically correct, then it goes to the black color. So I am going to make it as output name as males. Okay. So now let's click on. Okay. Then what about the females? So I have only two categories here, males and females. If I am uh, keeping a condition for males, then obviously the other output will be the females. That's the reason I am not putting a separate condition for females. Let's click on. Okay. Now once you're done with the split age, let's take the destination. Take a platform destination. Okay, so this is for now it asks like a, so it it contains a two outputs. One is the male output, the other one is the female output. So let's take the male output first, males. Let's configure this. Click on new. Click on OK. I want to go with the same uh, delimiter. Browse. Take a males. Click on OK. Go to preview. Click on OK. Click on OK. Let me go back again. Okay, mappings. Yeah, click on OK. Now it's done. Now let me take you the dest other destination for females. So the other output default will be the females output only, but the name is conditional split default output. Let's double click on it. Click on new. I want to maintain the same delimiter. Browse the females. Preview, click on OK. Go to mappings, click on OK. Okay. Now, so if you see here, I am reading the data from the plot file and I am going to split the data based on the condition by using conditional split. So let me run this. If you observe this picture, you will be able to see how many rows it started. It started with three rows. Two rows went to the males condition and one row with the female conditions. Now I read the data from the plot file and I wrote the data into the plot file with the help of the plot file destination. So in this example, so we learned about how to read the data from the plot file and how to write the data into a plot file and how to split the data in the SSIS. Thank you.